back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a review on the BMW X5. So the engine start button's right here. Alright, so the first impressions of this car, it's got a very nice interior. I love this display right here, and I love this, uh, this uh, entertainment system right here. And check out this ambient lighting. This is actually, like, really cool. And as you can see on the door panel, we got some leather right here, leather on, on the top part, and then leather right here. And then on the steering wheel, we got a full leather wrap steering wheel with a leather horn. And uh, for the dashboard, uh, we got a slightly harder material, but it still feels really nice. And then right here, we got the sunroof. Look at that huge sunroof. And right here, we got the, the uh, door handle. Feels pretty nice. All right, so let's go ahead and go in depth with this infotainment system. So as you can see, this is iDrive. And I'm gonna go to um, apps. So, oh, that's cool. So we got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that out uh, in a little while, but we got, uh, this is an installed apps. This is Apple CarPlay. Um, there's no, there's not, there's no Apple product connected to this. Uh, we got Android Auto, BMW Store. I wonder what that does. It'll bring you to a store. Um, let's go to installed apps. I want to go to, I would love to go to, <laughs> M lap timer. This is actually really cool. Loading app. It'll take a little while. Use only in compliance with stationary regulations, respectively county and suitable environment conditions. Okay, so that looks so cool. Start recording. So we can record right here. So Okay, so it says, please connect iPhone to, to the vehicle and start M lap, lap timer app. Okay, let's not do that. But the fact that this uh, thing, thing has a lap timer is actually pretty cool. This is actually really, really cool. We can actually go ahead and configure the interior lighting. I will put it back on my look. Uh, for the owner, put lighting like and white. Actually, like, this is actually really neat. Then we got green and white, then just green. Just really nice. And look at all these different colors. I'm sorry, but this is just so cool. Look at this. And it, it can uh, show you the different colors on the screen right here. As you can see, this is the BMW shifting lever right here. Uh, it's a good size. It's small, but it's not a bad size. And put my hand right here. And like I can actually... It's pretty comfortable right here. And so as you can see, this has... Power shifters are here and right here, and flipping on the turn signal. Oh wait, it doesn't it doesn't pop back in place. So as you can see, this screen is actually a very high resolution display. I don't know what type of high resolution it is. I don't know if it's 4K or a thousand or 1080p or 720p. I don't know that. I haven't done my research on that, but I do know that it does look super nice. And it has a feature where you can do this. So as you can see, it can actually turn up. You can turn up the volume just by doing that. That's actually really cool. And it's actually pretty helpful. Um, if you if you actually can't find the volume, you can just do that. And actually, I think it's really cool. And actually, I just... I just actually like really <laughs> turned the volume up too loud. And then you can actually check out your vehicle status. So you can check out your tire pressure monitor, your engine oil level, your check control messages, whatever that is. And and you can see if you need any services. What is this? Executive. Whoa. Get in mode. So we got these experience modes, which I don't really know what so it just gives you an experience, like a luxurious experience. So as you can see, 
navigation works pretty well. It really does. Oh, wow, you can actually see the whole globe. I like that. And the, the screen is really responsive. So let's go ahead and go on to the gauge cluster. Now, as you can see, the gauge cluster is pretty cool looking. I love that this design. It's like a 3D design and it just looks so cool. It's just amazing. So this car, the X5 S Drive 40i, has a 335 horsepower six cylinder engine. This thing makes 335 horsepower and it's, it sounds so good. I think this might be the same engine in the Toyota Supra. To perfectly fit the the grill, so here, you have to, I think you have to slam it down. <laughs> Let me try this again. The, shut up, car. One of the latches is not latched. So I think we just have to slam it down, I guess, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. It's expensive. So. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I think I do have to slam it down. <laughs> How do I do this? Okay, so I think I have to go to... I might know a lot about BMWs, but... Oh my goodness. BMW, <laughs> this is confusing. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. Anyone can figure out anything. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so I finally figured out how to shut the hood. I have to slam it down. But as you can see, this is the cargo area of the X5. Get rid of this cargo divider. Just gotta do that. Oh, I think I accidentally pressed the button. And I've already started to put that seat down. We're gonna put this seat down right here. And as you can see, this has a, so much room in it. And I'm sure, I hope there's a way you can actually put uh, take this out i'm sure there is a way but i don't even know how but if you want to put it back up all you gotta do is get it in these hooks right here and then it is back up and then these seats are not powered so you, you gotta go back and to give you a nice handle for this and put it back up all right so now getting in the back seat of this X5. And as you can see, I got some pretty good amount of legroom. I got a decent amount of legroom in, in the back seat. Um yeah, got a good amount of legroom. And these seats are very comfortable. And you get some storage right here. You also get Oh, there we go. Then we get these cup holders. So we're in the BMW X5. Uh, which one is this? Uh, S Drive. S Drive. It's like a. It's like a 30i S Drive 30i. 40. S Drive 40i. And this, as you can see, is extremely luxurious like i love this ambient lighting and it's so smooth and i hope you enjoyed that video uh and, and if you did subscribe to my channel anyways i hope you all have a good day adios